Good morning and welcome to the At Home with Roby show. I'm Ashley Davis along with Trent Haston, president and CEO of the Roby family of companies. We're your hosts. Thanks for spending your Sunday morning with us. Whether you're in the car or on the couch, you're always at home with Roby. Visit us today at andrewroby.com. That's Andrew, R-O-B-Y.com. Trent, good morning, my friend. It's another week, beautiful week here in Charlotte. Had some great weather a couple weeks ago. It got cold. It warmed back up. Uh, it, it's going to be sunny. We're almost spring. You got light coming through those windows. You might need to block it out. We're going to be joined by Ricky Brake from Carolina Shutter and Blinds of Charlotte. He's going to talk about all the products he has. Should be a fun show. Wow, wonderful tie-in, man. That's you like so that? The eloquent sun, the shade, smooth. it's everything. The sun, man. the shade the coming blinds. through. Ricky Brake's Blinds, Carolina Shutter. Now, we've got a good guest on the day. I actually, since I've been out of the project management scene for a little while, uh, I've been out of the out of the knowledge game on the shutter industry and, and stuff, but I've always really appreciated shutters, uh, window treatments because I really think they add to your house. About ten years ago, I put shutters on my windows on the inside, yep. wood shutters, yep. plantation shutters, I guess you would call them, and they're not cheap, but they, man, they enhance oh the house gosh. really. It's funny you say that. I was talking with uh, Ricky out in the lobby a minute ago, and I said, my wife this morning on the way in asked me, what, what's the show about today? And I told her, I said, well, uh, this guy from Carolina Shutter and Blinds is going to be on Ricky. She goes, Shutters and Blinds? You know, we still need to do the basement. <laughs> well, I was like, well there's good value in plantation shutters. <laughs> but my wife is uh, my wife's creative, and all week she's been sewing. She's redoing our living room because I told her it might be a little while before we do the addition. Uh I'm holding her down, man. Holding her down, but we still got three girls in one bedroom, which is which is so great. Blocking and tackling. But so she was redoing. Us. She said, "Can I redo the living room, redecorate it?" And man, she's so creative. She's not a designer or anything. She's just creative. But she's got her sewing machine. Her brother, nice. and uh, she's been sh- sewing curtains to go along with our plantation shutters. And I'm the idiot that said, "Why do we need curtains when we have those shutters?" But they go well together. She's talented. I know the feeling. So today we have some Mickey Mouse hats because y'all know out there that we are such big Make a Wish fans. Uh, I, this this week I don't know how, I don't know for how long, but for every picture that gets posted with uh, someone wearing a Mickey Mouse hat, Disney is going to donate five dollars to the Make a Wish Foundation. Awesome. So we've been doing pictures. I've been carrying around these hats all day. Thank you all week. Excuse me. Thank you, Christian. But we're going to get TJ in a hat. The mythical Finally, TJ. TJ shows up. Talk so if you it. never have imagined what TJ looks like, every, even though everybody has him pictured, you'll be able to see him. you got to find him online in his Disney brim. Follow us on Facebook. Just go on Facebook. Look up Andrew Roby. We're going to post this picture. You'll see us all in some years. So, Trent... Uh, and I'm asking this. Uh, hopefully, you know the answer. I'm asking you this live. When you post the picture, you got to use a hashtag or something, or how do you identify it? Hashtag Disney, hashtag Make a Wish. You don't have no clue. Do you? Are you trying to set me up? <laughs> We're going to Google that before the end of the about, show. Stay with us. We'll we don't Google talk it about and stuff like hashtags on the on the radio. <laughs> I said a word last Sunday, and I got bamboozled in church by all my buddies c- criticizing my uh, skirting of the of the dirty English language, but I did not go there. I don't think I have ever cursed on the radio. Well, it was at one time, but we... And I pray to the TJ Lord took, all the time to watch my course. tongue on a daily <laughs> basis, so I'm working on my vocabulary. I am a contractor, though, you know. A little... It comes with the territory yeah. sometimes. Start swinging that hammer. You know? You hit a thumb. You never know what's going to come out of your mouth. So, uh, Ford... Ford started walking. I don't know if I spoke about this last week, but I think this is his second week that he's been walking. And his exponential progress, you know, it's, it's, it's what I talk about with businesses. And if you study businesses and, and study books like Breakthrough Companies, they talk about companies like Apple. And they say for 20 years, you know, they go along and they're, put, they're building the foundation 20. And it's really, it's really a 20 to 25 year cycle. And then and then it catches and they hit, and, and it's an exponential trajectory up. And then every all everybody ever remembers is the trajectory up, and they don't remember plotting through and being metho- methodical right. and, and doing what it takes to, to get that trajectory. So Ford has done that with his walking, and he was a little slow, 13 months from what I hear. I've heard, 
you know, when you when your kid starts walking, everybody tells you how soon oh, their yeah, kid yeah, walked. Yeah. And they go, ah, oh, <laughs> you know, I know it doesn't mean anything, but little Johnny started walking at five and a half months. That's so <laughs> I'm like, cute. I'm like, little Johnny is wearing a diaper at four. But he's walking. <laughs> he's walking. <laughs> walking and tinkling. <laughs> Doing something. Can you say tinkling? Is, is that, you're going to get in trouble at little, church in a couple minutes. Little Johnny's a teenager, <laughs> and when he rolls over in bed, it still crinkles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You right, know, Ricky's real excited he's on the show. You know, you, ne- you, know you never knew how funny... Kid jokes, true kid jokes, were baby jokes until you have babies. And trust me, I know. I got I got a four and a six year old. Reagan talks about she listens to Bob and Sherry, and she talks about them t- and they talking junk about. Uh, this is ten years ago. She's talking, saying they at the restaurant and the kid at the other table threw some food, and they said, "Oh my God, that's amazing! I would I would take my kid out of here and never take him to a restaurant again." But, man, that's <laughs> life. The kid. Man, once you have a kid, you just you don't you tune it out. You don't even pay attention. You almost feel sorry. You well, the thing is, you're kind of proud that he's got a good right arm, right? True. I mean, come on, Ford, pick it up. So also this past week, not only is he walking well, my mom finally had my wife. My mom buys the stuff and then has my my wife puts all the stuff together. Ha, has my wife put together this little plastic truck and it's a Ford truck. Nice. It's a Ford Raptor. Dad and Dad and Pops never had a Ford Raptor. We just had F one fifties. I hear you. My mom said, "This is an F one fifty. I said, "No, that's a Raptor." <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We're going to get down to business. When we come back, we're going to talk to Ricky Brake from Carolina Shutters and Blinds. We're going to talk about how to beautify your home. It's something Andrew Roby does every day. And now we're going to join with Carolina Shutters and Blinds and talk about doing that same thing. You're listening to the At Home with, Sh- with Roby show. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 